like to travel with empty water tanks, so just before I get to the campsite, I fill full water. I didn't see these at first. I thought we could go all the way back. Oh my gosh, this is very different. This is chicken pot pie. I was just laughing because it's probably not the healthiest thing in the world, so. But it's gonna be good. It's a homemade pot pie. Why is it not the healthiest thing in the world? That is a chicken pot pie. Well, Stan had me double the the crust. single place that you wanted to look like or look at uh, you never get to where you need to get yeah we could have taken it a little slower but we oh we had... you woman how <laughs> no, long do you want to be on the... my butt i don't want to go full time well that, that's going to be like full time see what i deal with <laughs> slower you need to hear my big reason my big butt come on now I okay. said, but we had reservations and we took them. So we kind of had to blow through. And we want to reach our top destination so then we can eventually start heading back. Rondo was on. Can we see this? Can we see this? Can we see this? I go, let's go see what we got to go see first. What did I want to see on the road here? Well, you want to see South Beach. You wanted to see Beach 2, Beach 3, Beach 4. And that's not that, right now. That's like an hour away. However, oh, I want to go back. The weather right now is incredible. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it feels warm out here. Didn't you say the, how much rain they get in the winter time? Over a hundred inches of rain. Woo. It's it's a rainforest. Yes. And so September is supposedly like the last month that's decent weather, and so here we are. It's September eighteenth. So we have 12 days to explore. <laughs> what? We have four nights reserved, and then we think the day that we leave is when reservations are no more. It's first come, first serve. So we could potentially stay, or we might head, like I said, up to the Port Angeles area. And there's an Elks Club up in Sequim. I, I think that's the name. I can't remember exactly. I'll put it right there. But um, there's an Elks Club up there. We thought we might could stay at for a couple nights, explore up there, and then um, you know see what our next step is. But anyway, excited to be here finally. It's been a whirlwind of a, the last three days. And um, stay tuned because Ron is going to start driving the big rig. Not on these roads. <laughs> So we didn't need to check in, we just go right to our site. We are gonna be in 52C and um, keys right there, babe. We've got the keys right here. There you go. And it says it's 36 feet is the pad. So we're gonna, you know, we are, like I already said, 30 feet and then the truck, so we're hoping, fingers crossed. I like to travel with empty water tanks, so just before I get to the campsite, I fill full water, so we're full because it's primitive. 
generator, water, we got everything we need. And after that, we're done. We do the um, dump station is $10 per use, but $5 with um, a senior pass or access pass. challenge but we can do it let's try to get it right because we have to get your stair stairs out so let's get it right about here we'll have enough room for our truck to park okay so you want to go you want to oh go forward and we're going to go this way oh that's interesting i didn't see these at first i thought we could go all the way back oh my gosh this is very different so okay so, so i then. gotcha but then we're going to have to try to figure out about being level also. So <laughs> that, that's, going okay. be, that's, that's going to be a whole nother world. Okay. Unless you park the truck behind you. What? You pull the thing as much forward as you can and put the truck behind us. We'll, we'll probably have to come up that way. Okay. Well, good morning. Man, it was a quiet, quiet night last night here in Morrow Campground, Washington, Olympic National Park. And this is more of the coastal part of Olympic National Park uh, that we decided to check out first. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, great night's sleep. I feel so rested and so happy. We don't have to get in a car and drive for six hours today. Yeah. Woo! Let me just show you where we're at here. Isn't that incredible? Oh my gosh. And so it was a little tricky us getting back in here, right? Yeah. So, and we could have done it like, I don't know, 10 different ways, right? Maybe not 10, but a few different ways. But, uh, you know, the. The door is towards the street, which we've never done before, so that's okay. But uh, but it blocks, yeah. But let's wait let's till, show them our little. Wait till you see our little path. <laughs> little path. And go through here. We can't eat too much tonight because we can't get through. <laughs> and look, our living space is here. This is great. Isn't that amazing? We're getting ready to take our bikes down to the beach. But isn't this amazing? This, this is what they call a rainforest. But, oh my gosh. I think we've got the best spot in the house. Yeah, we went and scoped out a bunch of other spots. And, and there wasn't a lot available for like consecutive days, four consecutive days. It's going to be a couple here or there. So that's why we took this. We grabbed it up. And I'm very happy. Stan even asked, do you want me to flip it around, go against traffic, and come, you know, come park it the other way? But I, I like it like this. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's really it's nice. beautiful. Yeah. I like it. All right, let's go take out, check yeah. out Rialto, Rialto Beach. Beach. And then later, either today or whenever, we're supposed to, we're following low tide right now. And then you're supposed to walk at low tide about a mile and a mm -hmm. half. And then we're going to go see the hole in the wall. Yes. I think that's what it's called. But you need to walk, you need to see that at low tide. So, so, the, so you can actually see the hole in yeah. the wall. But yeah, right now we're just going to go check out Rialto Beach, see what that is all about. And then uh, on our bikes. So come with us. Is the only part that gets it's a little tough. Okay, one helmet. <laughs> Not much room. And two helmets. Yay.
answering a comment. <laughs> so our understanding is that the waves have tossed all of these up here because it's such a strong current and I guess tsunamis can hit at any given point. I, I don't know if that's just more common occurrence up here. Um, they're on smaller scales or what. Another thing to look into. But strong enough to just put all these logs way up here on the shore. So we're watching, like I said, for low tide because we want to walk, uh, we think possibly to that rock outcropping over there. But it could be beyond because it's a mile and a half away. That looks a little closer. So maybe it's the next one. But that would be the hole in the in the wall that we want to walk to at low tide. But for now, we just came to see and check it out. Gorgeous. Just so different than our Southern California beaches. Devastating waves called tsunamis can strike Washington's coast at any time. They're giant waves. They're usually caused by undersea earthquakes and they can occur along the Cascadia subduction zone or the largest active faults in North America. So there is the zone. And then we're, I think we're right on the edge right here. Well, that's why the tsunami warnings are all over the place. They right. Give you the direction on where to go. Yeah, it says that that logo, it's adopted by the National Tsunami Hazard Mitigation Program, and it's a symbol that they use in Washington and Oregon, California, Alaska, and Hawaii. Crazy. We've been in Hawaii when they had a tsunami warning. And we went in the water at our own risk. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with us. strange doesn't it feel so early in the morning still like when we're at our trailer oh, yeah. it's covered with the trees so it's kind of hard to tell but it's um, like one o'clock right now so we're heading to the little town of La Push, and I believe this is on the Indian Reservation not in the um, National Park it's right next door it's like kind of strange because you leave one section and then you drive down the road and then you're out of the park and drive a little farther and you're in the park so it's kind of crazy but wow this is supposed to have a couple phenomenal beach views i'm looking at one right now oh my goodness and a little town so what we plan on doing down here is to see what the town is about and then driving to i think it's called first beach i think that's a trail you're talking about oh i was looking for the olympic in it. Let's check this out. Nope, that's a cemetery. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Not yet. Not until the good Lord calls me home. Hopefully not today. Okay, so back to, um, we're gonna, it's kind of strange how they call like first beach, second beach, third beach, then down by Kalaylock area, a little bit farther south on the coast, they have like beach one, beach two, beach three. So it's very interesting. We're learning the lay of the land. We got a nice map um, at the Mora Ranger Station. So this is kind of like well, important. Plus I downloaded the app, which I always say download the app. And then it's kind of funny, but I figured out how to find the download. Feet. Turn right on I couldn't figure that out before. You just go to your profile picture or whatever. You go open that and this is downloaded park. So that's right where that's at. Um, but fantastic. Um, resource then you will arrive at your destination i forget what that's called but i'm gonna put it right there and look at how phenomenal oh my gosh why aren't we camping there you why arrive. i for i didn't know about that
Soul Duck River. River? What the did I inlet. say? Soul well, Duck? I'm sorry. But what? So where is it? This is it behind us? Actually, the inlet is right here. Oh, yes, please. Let's go. Uh, no. <laughs> it is so cold. I would not want to be doing that. You see how hard he's traveling? Yeah, he's going nowhere. What'd you say? I said, I can't believe that. What is it? Oh, a sand dollar? Nope. Oh. Well, you said you couldn't believe it. It was too good to be true. Usually it is. Hanging our America the Beautiful card. So we can go hike down to Second Beach and see the beautiful sights. Mm. Ready? Yeah, you bring water? I'll bring my water. All right. Second Beach Trail. This way. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, Stan says we gotta remember where we came out So we look back and there's a big I don't know, placard up on the tree there, so we should be good. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can Oh Lord, okay, we're gonna start the ascent up. And uh, Stan's taking shortcuts. Cheater. <laughs> Bye beach. We came, we saw, and now we go on. Gorgeous beach though. Incredible. So we gotta tell you about these two ladies that we saw. They were about halfway down. And they said, we're trying to decide if we're going to finish this and come on down to the beach because it's so steep and we said oh come on you can you do, gotta it. do you it you gotta do it you gotta do it and, and you then know, we they did it he did it we just saw him down at the beach and then she said they've been out here they're from pennsylvania they've been here and they're gonna spend their last day doing whatever you know like a recap of something they really enjoyed and she says this is gonna be it so look at what they would have missed out on it just yeah. it almost gives me goosebumps it's just so awesome so yeah. Oh, Ron, I see. You're one big goosebump. <laughs> oh, it's customary to place a rock in the tree. To place something that you found on the beach in the tree oh. as you leave. But you're not really supposed to take things off the beach because it's tribal land. That's true all these illegal people oh god you gotta end it you can just pick it up right here and put it in the tree <laughs> see there's a little clam right here here i'm gonna pick this up. this is very special now it's a nice rock here is the over the hill adventure rock right spot right there look at this look at that <gasps> oh it brings you seven years of bad luck if you take it out of the tree i thought it was an oyster with, okay. the, with, the, with the pearl in it. This trail is not for the the weary, I'll tell you. The coming up is a little challenging. It actually descends 200 feet in like point... I think it's less than point 0.8. The whole thing's point 0.8 miles. But the descent is really at the last maybe point 0.4. Okay. What does this look like? 
Okay, you all remember Friday the 13th? Okay, this tree looks like it's mask. I'm telling you. Oh, remember the big mouth? The big mouth, look at the big mouth. Oh, ah, ah, ah. oh look at that. What do you think? That's it, huh? Oh, so scary. That's dedication. I've caught you being a very dedicated YouTuber this trip. I'm very proud of you. You have taken it to an all new level. Apparently, this is Bella's truck from Twilight. And the funny thing is, Twilight was actually filmed in Oregon, but the movie was, you know, in Forks. Like, that's where they lived, the movie, but look at that. So fun. Port Angeles is, where is Port Angeles? Right there. It's right here. We're probably gonna be staying here, but then we're gonna come here and my guess is we're gonna go to Port Townsend That's and cool. take the ferry from Port Townsend to Keystone. Wow, to go see, what is it called? To go up to the North Cascades, Northern Cascades. That'd be awesome. A ferry? Ooh. Crazy. And you can't take, you've got to have reservations. You can't, you, you can take your, your RV on it, but we've never done it before, so. You gotta figure it all out. <laughs> we doubled the insides, we doubled the crust. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what are we making? <laughs> well, this is chicken pot pie. I was just laughing because it's probably not the healthiest thing in the world, so. But it's going to be good. It's a homemade pot pie. Why is it not the healthiest thing in the world? That is a chicken pot pie. Well, Stan had me double the the crust. So oh. this is actually just a recipe that I got off the Pillsbury box of the... Hold on. Wait for it. Oh, gonna, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Right here. I think it's right there. Okay, well, it used to be on the back. Is it in the box? <laughs> Have you been drinking? No, I haven't. I'm just tired and uh, hungry. I'm hangry. I'm ha hangry. Hangry. I'm not angry, but anyway, so this is chicken pot pie. I can link the recipe. It's not a problem, but we're trying it in our oven for the very, very first time. Um, I'm going to throw this on the top of the... Um, of the pie so it's basically it is homemade i mean it's it's um broth and milk and onion and butter two cups of mixed veggies so i use the the peas and the carrots and then um, boil the chicken and then you just shred the chicken Ooh, mix it all up some salt and pepper Ooh. and we're gonna put this on there and then oh it's gonna be so good i hope that the oven I made a quiche in it, and so the oven did pretty well with that. We've made other things like macaroni and cheese bake, so kind of just flop it on there. Bang! There it is! Sometimes I double the recipe in there, or like one and a half times, but this time I just didn't because we're camping, and then you just kind of push the 
push the crust together. Make Cooking it in Rhonda's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, going to be a miracle if it bakes evenly. But I mean, the insides are done. So it's not like you have to cook chicken. You just have to, you know, you just have to bake the, the crust. And Well, the reason why I wanted you to double crust because I like the crust. I know, it is good. So then you put your little slits in. And you could see, like, if you had more insides it would be like you know piled up like that but but i know it's all gonna be gone there we go we're gonna throw it in the oven and let's see what comes okay. out <laughs> uh does it fit yes see if it had a hump on it it wouldn't fit yeah, right actually no it would fit it would fit so i thought i'd just turn that let me take a look at that oh look at the glow in there? <laughs> look at the glow all right we're gonna put it in it i can't wait does call for 425 I think oops yeah but that that oven doesn't know what 425 yeah. is so let's start at 425 and then we'll see what how it's going okay. it's only supposed to be in for like uh, 30 minutes so we'll see oh I can't wait all right here we go thank you Pardon. <laughs> okay here's the finished product think it's pretty good. I may have cooked it a little bit longer if we were at home, but the bottom is a little... Here, watch this. I'm going to show you. Can you see that? The bottom got a little brown, but it's still... It's not burned. It's just brown, so I think it's going to be just fine. I told Stan yesterday, I said, I would much rather... Call me strange, but I'd much rather be sitting here with him by a campfire in Olympic National Forest than out to dinner anywhere in the world. Mm, sorry. <laughs> this pot pie is so good. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach, right? <laughs> mm. We got it. Oh, we don't need no.